I'm making a quick video here demo on this radio I picked up oh, a few weeks ago at Goodwill of all places for $15 it's a RCA 9INT1 this stuff here is from a, a website called radiomuseum.org so I got some nice information here on specifications what, what tubes it uses And from that, I actually went on eBay and got some other tubes, just in case I needed them. Um, these are the ones that I ordered through like three different vendors. All these other tubes here, I actually got these at Goodwill in a plastic bag for like three or four dollars, believe it or not. And they all look like they're in brand new condition almost. There was only one one type of of a tube in here that that I could have used in this radio. Um, all these other ones I don't know, but uh, kind of gets my interest going in finding other tube radios to restore. So, but these are the ones that I I ordered. Here's one of them, and all these most almost all these tubes were made in Germany because this radio uh, was made in. Uh, Germany and I think 1955 was made for made for RCA here's the back I'll show the back in more detail later um, but it says R RCA International of course I don't have it plugged in right now because I have the back off to show you But it's a seven tube radio and that includes the tuning tuning eye tube. See the speakers there. Big transformer. There's the antenna terminals. This antenna is for the AM broadcast band. And when I turn a knob on the other side, you see how it turns that, that way. Obviously a radio this large, you're, you're not gonna turn the whole radio to pick up you know your a local AM station and this also has two short wave bands and that was obviously that was pretty common uh, in Europe I mean they still use short wave but I uh, maybe I can kind of show you underneath it's almost kind of hard to show you underneath there the only problem I maybe I seem to have with this radio is maybe the push button contacts are probably worn or they're probably some corrosion or they're a little dirty because sometimes I'll have to like switch I'll have to like push the buttons a couple times to get maybe a good contact but other, other than that um, I had replay I had tested all the tubes not with a tube tester which I do not have uh, but I did replace one tube and it seems to improve things so so I'm gonna put the back back on here and I'll show you a little bit a little demo here this is a comparison. This is uh, Radio Australia on 9580 to the Pacific. Of course, it reaches North America. It reaches me here in uh, Wisconsin. And on this radio, once my radio heats up, I can pick it up pretty good here on, on this one, too. It's on. I don't have the volume on, but... So the short wave does work pretty good. All the bands work. There's my antenna. I just got it going down the <laughs> down the hall. Kind of ends up down there. East and Valdino roof. This is the local AM broadcast band. Enjoy weekends watching football. This is WISN, or I'm sorry, no, WTMJ in Milwaukee. Call 1-800-LEAP.
Leaf Guard. That's 1 800 L E A F G U A R D. Or check them out just online the at leafguard.com. For 50 years, I can say that I'm thankful for our staff, members of the Burlington RV family, because you've helped us make it. with the pregame first pitch 115 Hughes and Ron have the call here on 720 WGN pregame for game two at 640 tonight the white biome isn't as good on the AM I don't know if that's just the nature of it or and in between something with the radio California in college football the pregame at two o'clock kickoff at just do a couple more stations here. Construction sale has everything you need. Whether you're building, remodeling, or working on a small And the tuning eye doesn't really work with the AM. I don't know if this is the certainty ultra comfort blown in insulation. It might be something on the radio. But this is Talented all receipts in this league. He had been facing a one year suspension. This is all early morning reception here. This past week. It's like uh, six thirty AM here in the morning. Honestly, Rodney, I would have been shot. Okay, well it makes sense. I mean uh, identification is huge when it comes to waterfall hunter. That's correct. And this particular season it's it's really important because uh, okay. in the now the FM is like a flamethrower here. Really reached the consciousness of many of your colleagues, physicians in general, rheumatologists in particular. Hey. Hey. Styles and these Bartonella. Never heard of you until you no, said. <laughs> there you go. You can find some disappointing YouTube clips if you search. <laughs> man, cool. All right, we got to roll. Uh, Jared, thank you. It's like I can't stand it. It's not that one. If a price drops or a new listing pops up, they'll shoot me a text alert right away. Stage at six o'clock, we're going to be out right next to that. By the way, the big stand that says what you want. And then the antenna inside. A mapping tool. Um, and it's happening. I mostly listen to AM broadcast. I have enough records. I don't need to listen to music on FM. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, you can bounce all around all that stuff. What it comes down to, because the team can do whatever they want. It's it's those people that you spend most time with at home. It's your mom. It's your sister. It's your brother. It's your uncle. It's the mentor that you had in high school. It's the teacher. It's the coach that you, that you love and that you trust and you respect. When you're going through issues like this, there's only a few people that, you, that, that really are good people in your circle. And there's a whole bunch of negative influences. You have to cut those... Thanks for watching.